To run your marketing agency or SMMA effectively, you need seven apps. And those are a CRM for yourself and for your clients, a business email, a team communication app, a project management app, a screen recording app, a website builder, and a distraction ender. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Keaton here. I'm really excited to dive into these seven different types of apps that you need. We'll keep it short and simple, I promise. All I ask is that you subscribe and check out some other videos on the channel because they really can help you grow your business. So the first app you need for your marketing agency is going to be a CRM. And as I mentioned, this needs to be for yourself and for your clients. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. So this is a software where you store all of your clients' data, the text messages, the emails you've had back and forth with them so that you have it all in one space. The benefit of having this not only for yourself, but for your clients is the clients will be able to see their ROI, also have access to all of that customer data so that they can follow up with people that didn't close right away. But almost more importantly, they can see the work that you're putting in as an agency. Hands down, the best tool for this is Go High Level or High Level. I've made multiple videos on this topic. Go check them out in-depth tutorials. Some people say it's the best video they've ever watched on high level. Uh, if you don't know what it is yet, definitely go check it out. It's a game changer for agencies because it allows you to put unlimited people on your own CRM, which is white labeled for you and your business. So it seems like your own company, your own software, and then give that to clients. And if for whatever reason they want to cancel ad service or whatever other service you're doing for them, they can still keep the CRM and you can bill them a monthly amount just for maintaining them on the software, which has value in and of itself. Now, there are some other competitors to high level coming out. I believe one of them is Green Rope. Uh, that's the only one I've really heard of. I have no idea if it's good or not. <laughs> you might, maybe I'll make a, a competition video at some point, but I would just go with high level. The community's there. There's so much support, awesome company, amazing co-founders, believe in the vision of the company. So definitely check it out. If you'd like a 14 day free trial, check out my link below. That really helps me out. Thanks. Next up, we've got a business email. You don't want to be the guy that's emailing from, you know, like hello kitty 17 at gmail.com that the email you made when you were 14 years old, you want a real business email so that you seem professional. The best place to do this is Google workspace. It's like $6 a month. And then you can have something like your name at your company name.com. Uh, as your email, which is super helpful. If you'd like to learn how to do that and actually set it up, there's plenty of tutorials online. But the most important thing is that clients are seeing, okay, I'm emailing back and forth with somebody that has a company email address. And it just helps them feel more at ease. It's kind of like a website. It's not completely necessary right when you start. But when people see that you have a website, you know, you have reviews and testimonials, they're like, okay, I'm, I'm working with a real business. So this is one thing that you can do right from the beginning. You don't even need a website. You just need the domain to actually set up your business email. Next up, we've got team communication. So this is where you communicate with your internal contractors or employees that you have on your team uh, so that you guys are all on the same page, messaging back and forth about clients, et cetera. The obvious choice here is Slack. It's kind of the industry standard. Plenty of people use it. It's super fast. You can leave voice notes if you pay for the premium version. I don't know what else to tell you, except it's just nice to have an app that you can communicate only work stuff on. Uh, and then a lot of other people use it as well. So you can kind of toggle between different communities inside of Slack. Uh, if you'd like to add those to Slack as well. So uh, amazing tool. I think it was built by people who are building a completely different uh, business, but they were like, oh, we should build something to communicate to make our team communication better. And then they were like, oh, we're actually onto something with this software that everybody wants. So um, amazing software, definitely check out Slack. Next up, we've got a project management tool. A project management tool allows you to see tons of different projects or tasks being completed at certain times, assign them to different people and see how the progress of that task is going. Now there's three main ones I recommend here. First one is Asana, next one is Notion, and then the last one is Monday.com. All of these are excellent choices. I know people that love every single one of them. I know people that don't use every single one of them for certain reasons. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. It just depends which one you like the best. I personally use Notion uh, because I like the fact that it's an all-in-one tool. You sort of get Trello mixed in there. You can also link different databases to different things. A lot of other people use Notion for docs and wikis and other stuff like that. And so when they share it, I already have an account. I just personally enjoy it quite a bit and it's quite affordable when you're getting started. I think it's like, again, six or $8 a month for the first person. And it allows you to track tons of different stuff and really be quite flexible with how things work. Monday.com and Asana.com are going to be very much more checklisty 
not have as much flexibility in how it works, but they're built for a very, very specific purpose, which is project management, which is good. I wouldn't say Notion is like a project management software in and of itself, but you can build a lot of project management stuff into it, which I like as well as keep things like uh, internal SOPs and things like that, very easily accessible for everyone on your team. Again, please, please, please don't overthink this. Just sign up for one. And if you're like, oh, this isn't what I wanted, go check out another one and just see, you know, look up best project management softwares. I can't stress enough that this doesn't really matter which one you use. It's just what's gonna work for you and your team. All right, next up, we've got a screen recording software. This is important because if you're working remotely, which most of you will be, Communicating with clients about stuff online that's techie stuff can be difficult for a lot of clients. And if you just send like bullet points on how to complete things it can be quite difficult. So you need a screen recording of walking through what they need to click on. Maybe this is getting you Facebook business manager access or granting you access to their website or maybe just explaining a few things. But being able to do a voiceover screen recording and explain what you need from the client is crucial in any agency. What I recommend for this is Loom, OBS, or ScreenFlow. So Loom is $8 a month to be able to record unlimited videos, add unlimited people to your team, and just record and pass those videos around. It makes it super easy. It's probably the best solution is Loom. ScreenFlow is like a one-time purchase app from Mac. I don't super love it, uh, but it is one time. So if you're not up to you know paying a monthly subscription to Loom, even though it's super cheap and it's an awesome software, then you could use that. OBS is kind of the happy medium here. It's completely free, but it doesn't upload everything directly to the cloud and give you an easy link to send everybody. But you could just record it on OBS, upload it to Google Drive or something else like that, and send it to the client. At the end of the day, again, it doesn't really matter. Loom is gonna be the fastest for you, but it does have the monthly subscription, which a lot of people don't like. All right, that brings us to number six, which is a website builder. For this, I recommend WordPress. Now. High Level, which I mentioned earlier, does have a website builder in native inside. So you don't need to pay anything extra for a website builder if you don't want to. Here's the thing. When it comes to SEO and ranking as high as you can on Google for specific search terms, like for example, my agency, we want to rank on the first page of Google for orthodontic marketing. So in order to do that and do it as best as possible, WordPress is the best tool just for SEO. It's an open source software, so WordPress itself is completely free, but you do need to pay for hosting, which is like $30 a month. Super cheap for the benefit that you could get uh, buying hosting from like WP Engine or Kinsta. Those are both very reputable companies that will get your site speed up super quick and make sure that your business website is running extremely well. When it comes to actually building on WordPress, you'll probably need something like Elementor or you'll need to hire a developer who can go through and kind of customize the website the way that you want it. Some alternatives to uh, building a website on WordPress, if it just seems like too much for you, it's too complicated, uh, you could do Squarespace, excellent, uh, kind of hard to use, but again, you'll still be able to rank online for things. It's not like you can't rank with other softwares. It's just SEO is best on WordPress. Uh, you can do high level, like I mentioned. Again, the SEO would probably be the only drawback. I think their builder is quite intuitive and very good. And then something like Ghost as well. Uh, it's more built just for blogs, but again, you can rank excellently for Ghost, which is a WordPress, like built as a WordPress alternative, uh, which is much more intuitive to use and not as difficult. If you're brand new, you really don't need to spend a ton of time on your website. You should get a couple clients first and then go build your website because building your website at the beginning is just gonna be a waste of time. All right, so that brings us to our last category, which is a distraction ender. There are two that I really like here. So let me share my screen and I'll show you what I mean by a distraction ender. Let's come here. You can see this one, when I open a new tab, this is what pops up for me. Keaton, only 2,862 Sundays remain. So it shows from the beginning of my life all the way to where I am in 2022, how many uh, Sundays are left and shows me like, okay, if I live to 2076, which I believe would be like 80 years or something like that, then this is all the time I actually have left. And it really gives a great visual for how few days we really have here and motivates me to work harder. The other thing this does is if I open another tab without this, you know it's gonna be the news side, it's gonna be, hey, click on YouTube, it's gonna say, go anywhere else except do the work that you want to do. And so it's really helpful to do this one. There's another one called Momentum that does something similar, it just like has a quote of the day and like a nice picture. 
but I definitely recommend this for new tabs because the alternative will just get you distracted. The other one is a Chrome extension called Newsfeed Eradicator. So as you can see here, I'm blocking Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, Instagram, I'm not, LinkedIn, I never use, and Reddit. These are like the ones that I do use, but I use them quite rarely, but I do have to access Facebook for business purposes every single day. So when I get on here, if I've got a distracting news feed, I'm gonna get distracted. So instead, I've got a nice quote here. Cool, I'm good, I can just log in and go do something, I don't get distracted by it. Same with YouTube, which I used to spend hours just like spending too much time watching when I would get distracted from work. If I go here, you can see, cool, I've got a quote here and I can just search for what I need. And if for some reason you do need to look at your homepage, you can just click here and do show feed for five minutes and you come here and everything pops up. But definitely recommend having a distraction ender. These are game changing tools for me to help me with my productivity every single day. Guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully this helps. Again, I've got tons of videos on how to grow your agency. Go check them out. New ones coming out every week, so subscribe. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you next time.